Hi, this is Brad Linder with Little Computing, and I'm here at CES 2016 checking out the new mini computers from Zotac. There's a fairly wide range of these, and uh, while well, they've all been announced at this point and specifications are available for a lot of them, uh, some of the final details, like the pricing, aren't yet available, but they should be coming in 2016. One of the more interesting models here is this Zotac PC stick. It is a small device that you can plug directly into the HDMI port of a uh, television to basically turn it into a Windows computer. Uh, it's powered by an Intel Cherry Trail processor, has 2 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, HDMI, uh, 10 by 100 Ethernet, 802.11ac Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. And you can see here that it has a uh, HDMI adapter or a connector right on one side, so you just plug it straight into the uh, HDMI port. Now it's a little bit bigger than some PC sticks that we've seen in the past, but it does have the Cherry Trail processor, has a couple more ports than you usually get, so there's micro USB, Ethernet, USB, and on the other side we've got an SD card slot and this adjustable antenna. Uh, it's got ventilation here, status light, and that's about it. So that's the uh, Zotac PC stick coming in 2015 with a Cherry Trail processor. The company is also updating its Pico line with two new Cherry Trail uh, models. The uh, simpler one is the T3 with a Z5, Z, or X5, it's Z8300 processor. There's also the T4 with an X7, Z8700 processor. Both have 2 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, 802.11ac, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0. 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage. There's a little bit of a difference in the layout. Now, these are uh, just demo models here. I'm not sure there's actually anything in the case, but there might be. Uh, but it feels very, very light. It's uh, It feels almost like a, a smartphone or a backup battery in terms of size and how easy it is to hold in your hand. But we've got a lot more ports here than we do on the PC stick form factor, uh, even though really it's not that much different in terms of size. It doesn't plug straight into the HDMI port of your TV, though you're going to need an adapter. Uh, we do have HDMI, USB, two more uh, USB, mini display port, Ethernet, and a headset jack on this model, power, and a micro SD card slot. On the more powerful version, we've got DisplayPort and HDMI for two displays, Ethernet, uh, headset jack, USB 3.0, USB 3.0 for a total of three, power, micro SD. Oh, and we've got a USB Type-C connector here as well. So those, those are the new uh, Zbox Pico line. The CI323 Nano is a low-power fanless system. It's a little bit larger here, you can see. Uh, it looks a little bit more like a traditional PC, but still in a fairly compact uh, setup. And it has an Intel Broswell Celeron N3150 processor. Uh, support for uh, uh, two memory slots for up to 8 gigabytes of memory. It uh, can house a 2.5 inch drive and uh, works would work pretty well, I think, as a home media kind of computer if you want a silent computer to put in your living room. We've got mic and headphone jacks, USB 3.0, infrared, USB 3.0. That's actually a Type-C connector there. On the back, we've got dual Ethernet, HDMI display port, VGA, and multiple USB ports, into, including 2.0 and 3.0 ports. Uh, fanless design, you can see there's a lot of ventilation in the case. Now, We've also got this more powerful C-Series, which is brand new, uh, again, significantly larger than the CI-323, or way, way bigger than the Picos. It's still relatively compact for a full-fledged computer with a Core i5-6300 Skylake processor, but it's still got this uh, ventilation for a fanless uh, design, so it's not gonna have any sort of noise going on. We've got uh, mic and headset jacks on the front, two USB Type-C 3.1 ports, uh, USB 3.0 and SD card slot combo jack. We've got uh, status LEDs, power button, and this guy's a little bit heavier, but let's lift it and take a look at the back, where we'll find display port, dual ethernet, USB 2.0, or HDMI, du dual uh, USB 3.0 ports. So that's a first look at the new C-Series with a Skylake processor and a passive cooling system. Zotag is also showing off their Steam Machine, which was introduced in 2015, and a Windows model called the Magnus EN970, as well as some new systems, including the MA761, which has six display, display ports on the back, so you can connect up to six monitors to the system. Now, the lighting in here is not ideal, um, but let's go ahead and point them out for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
two Ethernet jacks, two USB ports, and this is what it looks like from the front in a relatively dark room. Ugh. We've got Skylake system here, which is the MI5051 with Skylake uh, Core i5-6400T processor. USB 3.1 Type-C again, 802.11ac, dual HDMI, uh, or dual DisplayPort and HDMI. And finally we've got the EI751 back here, which has dual gigabit uh, Ethernet, 802.11ac, and again dual uh, DisplayPort. And this model has a 4i7 Broadway processor. So that is a, uh, a quick overview of all the new 2016 and some 2015 models from Zotac, including everything from a PC on a stick, to a smartphone sized PC, to a fanless PC, to a fanless more powerful PC, gaming computers, and a uh, sort of graphics powerhouse here with support for up to six external displays in a fairly compact case, but again, not the most compact case. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and you can find more details about these and other little computers at lilliputing.com.